Hi, this is Sahana. Welcome to my channel. Our today's topic is object type, which is one of the built-in reference types given by C Sharp. As you might already know, in C Sharp, all the built-in types and custom types are broadly classified as value types and reference types. If we have to talk about object type, it is built-in reference type. Here are the features of object type. The first thing is, it is the parent type for all the types in c -sharp type system. Next, you can assign any type of value to object type. Now, open your Visual Studio and create new console application. I have already created it. Now, I will show you how to declare object type variable. I will remove this piece of line and I will declare the variable. For declaring the object type variable, we should use the object keyword, then the variable name. Here, obj is my variable name and we have to end with semicolon. In our previous videos, we have learned that internally all the value types are represented as structures and reference types are represented as classes. We shall verify that. Right click on the object type and say go to definition. Here you can see all the members that are available inside the object class. Here you can see object is a class. Coming back to the features that we already discussed, object type is the parent type for all the other types. This means even if you don't inherit the object type explicitly, internally all the types inherit from object. Let's check that. I will declare the integer variable and assign some value. Now we shall try to print the type using the getType method. I will write the writeLine method console.writeLine and I will print the type. If you see here, if you hover over this getType method, we can see that it is from object class. Let's verify that. See. When I go to the definition of that getType method, we can see it is present inside the object class. It is not from the int class. This means we can call any of the methods from object class from any of the type. Thus, the object class is the parent type for all the types. One more feature that we discussed is you can assign any type of value to object type. It could be string value, it could be integer value or it could be any other reference value like this time I will declare the string type variable. I will say str and I will assign some value. I will say hello. Now what we shall do, we shall assign this string value to our object type variable and we will print the value. Let's see the output. Let's run our program and see what we get as the output. We are getting this system.in32 from, from this piece of code where we are trying to print the type of integer type variable and second output. Second output hello is from this particular piece of code where we are declaring the string type of variable and assigning the value. Next, we have assigned that to object type and we are trying to print that. There is one more thing that you should know about object type that is boxing and unboxing. Theoretically, boxing is the process of converting a value type to object type. Unboxing is reverse of boxing. Here we convert the object type to value type. Now we shall understand boxing and unboxing with the help of code. Let us continue with the same example. In our case, we have the variable a which is of the type integer. If you remember, integer is a value type. And we have one more variable that is object type variable obj. If I assign integer type variable a to object type variable obj, then it is called as boxing. 
here I am assigning variable A to object type variable OBJ. We are done with the boxing. Let's see how to do the unboxing. To do the unboxing, we cannot simply assign object type variable to value type variable. If I simply assign this to value type variable, compiler will warn me saying cannot simply convert type object to int. This is because we have to do the explicit conversion. It means we have to specify the type. Here I know that a is the integer type variable and I will say int object because compiler will now know that we are converting object type variable to integer type variable. Though object type seems easier to use as it can handle any type, make sure you do not use it often. It is not a best approach from the performance standpoint as it involves boxing and unboxing. If you want to know this in detail, you can visit Microsoft documentation and I will keep the link in the description box. If I have to give you some real time example where the object types are used, the very good example would be event handlers. Here you can see that sender is of the type object. I hope you understood the object type. Thanks for your time. See you in my next video. Thanks again.